Hey YouTube, <clears throat> how are y'all doing today? Um, it's been a while since I've made any videos, put any videos out. And uh, this video here is going a little bit different direction than what uh, my other videos on my channel is. Um, but I wanted to start documenting uh, what's going on and how things are going, how I got started, where I, I came from a year ago. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, in this video, I want to talk about the carnivore diet. Um, last year, in 2023, in July, um, I started off, I was starting to feel bad. Um, I was getting your typical dad bod, uh, most of it going to my belly area. Um, and I stepped on the scale one day at 203 pounds. And light bulb went off in my head that, hey, I need to make a change. So that's what I did. I set out on a weight loss and health journey. Um, and the way I started off was I just started cutting out carbs from my diet. I went to a low carb diet. Um, and at the same time with the low carb, I was slash keto because there were days that I would keep my, my carbs uh, under 20 carbs. Most days it was anywhere from 50 to 100 carbs when I first started off. A um, couple months in, I switched over to keto. Um, I did your typical 48 hour fast to get into ketosis. Um, then I cut my carbs and I kept them under 20 uh, for a couple of months there. Um, the, the first phase was about a month long from July to August and then from August to October is when I did the, the keto portion of it. Um, in October, I went to the doctor, the end of October. I uh, went to the doctor, I believe it was October 29th, and I had blood work done, a checkup done, um, and of course I still was weighing too much. Um, I think I tipped the scales at 200 pounds at that time. Um, as soon as I had uh, my blood work and my weight and everything documented through the doctor's office, that's when I started keto, I mean uh, carnivore, I'm sorry. Um, I had been looking at and uh, seeing videos on YouTube here, on TikTok and such about the uh, carnivore diet, and it piqued my interest. So I did some more research, looking into it, see how things were, uh, exactly what the diet consisted of, the side effects that might come along with it, and most of the people that I seen was talking nothing but good things about this. Um, one of the drawbacks that I did, did see from people talking about the carnivore diet was high cholesterol. Um, that didn't bother me because I already had high cholesterol. I'd had, had high cholesterol for years. I'd been on a statin for years. I think I started taking a statin maybe 20 years ago or so. And, um... I really had nothing to lose by giving it a shot and that's what I did uh, on October 30th I switched over complete carnivore 100% eating nothing but uh, meat I didn't just stay with uh, the beef butter bacon and egg uh, part of it I didn't do the line diet I ate meats all meats uh, eggs and butter uh, use salt and pepper for seasoning and that was it and I did that from October till January, from the end of October to the end of January for three months. And within three months, I dropped 30 pounds. I went from 200 down to 169, 170. And I felt amazing. Um, within the first, I guess, 10 days, um, my energy levels started to increase. I felt better overall. I had no more pain anywhere. Um, and up until that point, I'd been having trouble with my right arm. Um, I had surgery back in, I think it was 99 uh, when I was in service. And I'd had trouble with my arm off and on for years. Uh, and right before I started doing uh, carnivore here, I was having pain in my elbow again. 
and it was to the point to where I was actually wearing my brace uh, again. So, like I said, within about 10 days, 14 days, that pain was gone. I was not wearing my brace anymore. I felt great. Felt like I'd never had surgery on my elbow at all. And um, it's been that way for the past almost year now. Um, now, when I went back to, uh, well, during this time, uh, being on carnivore for those three months, you know, my energy levels went up, my pains went away. I was able to get up, get out of bed, get going right first thing in the morning. It was no moping around, no taking my time. Um, I also, uh, my mental clarity uh, got a whole lot better. Um, I was able to focus better. I was able to concentrate, get tasks done faster. And I was just overall feeling great uh, during that time. And the one thing that did concern me was I was expecting when I went back to the, the doctor in January for a three-month checkup for my cholesterol and such to be sky high through the roof, right? And uh, when I went back in January, my cholesterol, my triglycerides, they had taken a 180. Um, and I'll do a separate video talking about my lab works um, with everything because it shocked me. Um, my doctor was kind of surprised about it also, um, but they did. It My cholesterol, total cholesterol was close to 300. I think it was like 280 something. And when I went back, it was maybe 180. I'm thinking I've got my paperwork. And like I said, I'll make another video explaining all of that. Um, but in January, after I went to the doctor then and seen what uh, my blood work was and uh, the weight that I'd lost, how I was feeling, how I was getting around better and stuff, I uh, started to incorporate foods back in. I wanted to experiment for the next six months because my next blood work was in July, six months from January. Um, because I was at the end of January, it was January 28th, 29th when I had my blood work done and my next appointment was like July uh, 28th or 29th. So I wanted to experiment. I wanted to add food back in because I knew how good I felt, how great I felt being on carnivore, not eating any vegetables, any fruits, uh, no carbs whatsoever, no breads, rice, potatoes, none of that. Um, so I uh, started incorporating foods back in. And I didn't go overboard. I just did, you know, rice here, potatoes there, uh, a fast food meal once in a while, some pizza once in a while. Um, and I seen how everything started to affect me. You know, eat pizza for a meal one day, maybe three pieces, four pieces max. And an hour later, I was bloated. I felt like crap. Um, the next day, my energy level was down. I just didn't feel that great. Um, now, I never watched or took uh, insulin levels during this time. So, I don't know how that was affecting my insulin during this time. But, um, you know, for six months I did that. And when I went back in July and had blood work done again, my numbers had gone back up. They weren't as bad as they were the first time when I was eating what people refer to as the standard American diet, but they had gone back up. Um, so, and during this whole time, I was still on a statin. Um, you know, it's, it kind of shocked me. Um, I was amazed, you know, from being on carnivore and eating all the meats and stuff that my cholesterol actually dropped instead of going up like most people say it, it will or it may. Um, but at the same time, I wasn't expecting these other foods to affect my cholesterol that bad either. So, um, and I did gain about 10 pounds back during that six months. So, um, here, the end of August of 2024, I decided that I was gonna do another experiment. And that's what I've been doing since the end of August, uh, August 28th. 
I went back on carnivore again, and this time I'm going to the gym. I'm hitting the gym anywhere from five to six days a week, um, working out, lifting weights, doing cardio. And this time around, uh, doing all of this, my goal is to see what a long-term uh, effect on my cholesterol this diet will have. And I also wanted to see how much I could change my physique um, by going to the gym and working out uh, and being on just carnivore, not eating the carbs, not, uh, you know, doing the chicken and broccoli, chicken and rice, uh, like a lot of people that do bodybuilding or weightlifting and stuff does. Um, and during this time, I'm not taking any protein powder, no supplements, none of that. I'm just going to the gym, working out eating the carnivore diet, meat, eggs, butter, salt and pepper. This time around, I am using a little bit of seasoning, um, but I do watch it and make sure that my seasoning does not have sugar in it. Um, so, um, I'm getting ready to come up on 60 days of being back on carnivore. Uh, that'll be October 28th will be my 60 day mark. And uh, I've, been documenting everything over on TikTok um, with uh, how things are going and what I'm doing and stuff. And I plan on, on October 28th, doing a physique update uh, just to so show where I started and where I'm at 60 days later from going to the gym and just eating carnivore. Um, but my end goal, uh, like I said, is I go back to the, the doctor in January for another six month checkup and I want to see how a longer term carnivore diet will affect my cholesterol, my triglycerides and all. And also I want to see how my body changes uh, as far as how much muscles put on, how much fats lost um, between now and then by working out, you know, just trying to be healthier. So, but um, I'll be making some updated videos here. I'm going to try to do them weekly. Um, they won't be daily, of course. Uh, that would be boring. They'd be short. So I'm just going to keep things uh, simple. Uh, talk about what's going on, what I did for the week, how things are going. Uh, as of right now, uh, I really haven't had that much of a, a weight change. I think I'm down maybe three pounds in the last uh, 50 days now. Um, but by going to the gym and working out, I'm expecting to put on a little bit of muscle, maybe lose a little bit of body fat, which should balance out in the long run, I think. But other than that, um, I'm just going to document how things are going and where we end up come January. So if you want to, uh, follow along and see how things go, see where I end up, uh, whether it's good or bad, um, you know, hit that subscribe button and follow along. Um, if you have any questions about what I've done so far or what I'm doing, drop me a comment. I'll get back to you and answer you. Um, I interact with people when they do comment on my videos. So um, other than that, I hope y'all have a good night, a great weekend, and I will see y'all in the next video.